Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I like to expose myself in my shopping addiction, so please subscribe. And if this is not your first time, welcome back to another video. So I did just do another Sephora video not too long ago because I had a sale um, where I got 10% off, but they just did another sale for 20% off everything. So I was like, let me grab the items that I was kind of teetering with. So that's what this video is going to be. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned. In that last Sephora video, I believe I mentioned that I'm leaning towards doing the winged eyeliner in a different way. I kind of want like a smoky winged liner. And you can't really achieve that with the felt tip that I'm using now. I use um, Stila, the brand Stila. And I decided to go with a different color, which has been working out nicely. I have no complaints, but I just wanted to try something new because when I find that I have more time to do makeup, I can, I can experiment with some things. So I wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up from Sephora for this most recent um, sale that they had. And now that I know that they're going to be doing these 20% sales, I probably just wait till next year to purchase again from them because I don't really buy a lot of makeup like that that explains why i'm in the lowest tier of their sales all the time but anyways let's get into this haul um so i want to start out with some what do i want to start out with i'll start out with lipstick so when i went into sephora i was looking at lipsticks i feel like lipsticks is the hardest thing for me to buy because i can never find a really good color that matches with like my skin tone some pinks are just i don't really like light lipsticks and i don't know i like dark lipsticks so i did come across something by um, Makeup by Mario. And I saw that he had the color Maurice. So this is the shade right here. It's just a really pretty brown. Really pretty brown. It's a matte lipstick. And well, this is really, really pretty. Let me see if I can try it on now. I, it might not work because I have like a gloss on my lip. And I did see that some people said they didn't like how many passes it takes them to put the lipstick on. I don't know. We'll see how that works. I do like the color. I don't have any dark lipsticks like this, so we'll see. If I had like a like a dark eyeshadow or something going on, this would this would work. I can see this has potential. So I don't really have any like dark lipsticks. I usually just go with a liner and like a light lipstick to keep that natural pink in there, but we're gonna try something new. So that's what this purchase was for. The next item is, uh, dang, I should have, I might want to take this lipstick off now just to try this. This is another uh, lip item. This is a volumizing glossy balm. It's a tinted balm in the color Lore by Hourglass. So I tried this on maybe a year ago and I really liked it. At this time when I was looking at it in the store, I was interested in getting like a, a lip gloss there's something to add a tint and a moisture to the lip and then when i came across this color i was like oh my gosh i love it so this is the color this is what it looks like it's like a really deep plum kind of maybe i can swatch it for you guys so you guys can see on my hand that's what it looks like very juicy you know like you can tell it's going to be moisturizing a little um, I'll probably start feeling it tingle in a minute because it's a volumizing lip balm. So, I don't know. I'm interested to see how I like it. I really, really like this color. I think that will be really pretty. It's kind of similar to um, what I have on. But this has more of a red undertone. The other one is definitely more chocolate. So, one of the main things I wanted to get from this Sephora sale was black eyeshadow. So that I could do the winged eyeliner. I originally just wanted black period just black but when i saw the black one was like 25 dollars, i figured i might as well get other colors too and um have more to work with let me see if we can focus it says the colors are black is black gloom chromatic glam mist and puff i'm glad i didn't go with just black by itself and now i have more i can experiment with so this is the item that I wanted like the most out of everything that I got. So happy with that purchase. I also need to have an angled brush to have that winged eyeliner effect. So I decided to go with, this is a Sephora brush. This is the number 22 and it's angled and it's the perfect liner brush. Honestly, that's actually what it's called. The pro brush liner for our eyeliner. I was looking at the reviews on this too. And honestly, they were kind of mixed, but I decided to um, just 
try it out see how i like it i really do like the angle of it it looks like it could be very precise which is exactly what i'm looking for and i would just apply the eyeliner like this and then once i apply it i needed another brush to kind of like smoke it out a little so i decided to buy another brush this is the sephora pro brush for shadow so this is in the number 18 and it's got a very small tip, but it's fluffy enough just to kind of create that smudge and kind of blend it out a little to smear it. So this is what that brush is looking like. Let me focus so you can see. And it's just small enough to get into that, the corner of the eye and kind of like blend it out and work it out a little bit. That's what my intention is. So we'll see if I can get it together. I, need, I know I'm gonna need to practice. And if I can get it down, Pat, I'll come back and show you guys my process for a winged eyeliner if I like it enough. Okay, y'all, for the very last item in this haul, like I said, it's a quick haul. Um, I didn't go too crazy in Sephora this time. But this last item is an item that was recommended by my sister. So she told me to try out this. It's called Milk by Commodity. And she was pretty excited about this scent. Um, she said it gave her like campfire s'mores kind of vibe. I think it could be classified as a fall scent. Um, so I tried it out, I sampled it in the store, and I did like it enough to try it, try it out for myself. So they have uh, what's called like bold, they have personal, and they have whatever this is, expressive. So personal is like just for like you pretty much smell it on yourself, expressive, like maybe you and like a few surrounding folks, and then bold the room can smell you and i'm definitely not a bold person so i decided to get expressive so you can kind of see like it's illustrated by this symbol right here you've got you in the center and then people around you and then bold is a little bit more expanded and then personal would just be like you she did get the full size but i decided to go with this because this will last me probably for the rest of my life i'm not a person who is into perfume and I don't really think we should be wearing perfume like that, y'all. And if you wear it, please spray it on your clothes and not directly on your skin um, because it's known to be an endocrine disruptor. But anyways, that's the health side of me coming out. So I decided to go with this little one. If I ever need to re-up, I'll probably just get another little one. This will be like an every now and then kind of kind of thing. But uh, to me, it smells like a warm hug. Like it's. I can see campfire marshmallow vibes. I want to give you guys the notes. So I pulled it up on Sephora's website and it goes for $145 for the standard 3.4 ounces. I decided to go with the 0.34 ounces. So mine was a lot cheaper um, at $28, but I got that 20% off on top of that. So the fragrance family says warm and spicy. The scent type says warm and sweet gourmands. And then the key notes are cold milk, mahogany wood, and marshmallow. I feel like we described the perfume perfectly based on their notations about the item. It does say clean at Sephora, so it makes me feel a little better <laughs> about purchasing this. It does say it's a unisex fragrance, so I can see that. It's definitely not a feminine smell. Um, I, I like it. It's, it's very nice. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this haul, you guys. I just wanted to come in and show you guys some of the items that I picked up. Let me know what you guys think about these items that I picked up. What do you guys like? Um, what are you guys thinking about purchasing? And yeah, let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.